What's up guys, it's a Sunday morning. Um, I'm sitting outside of a garage sale. Robert and I had hit yesterday, which would have been Saturday at like 4 p.m. We never go to late garage sales. Uh, usually they're picked over by then. But I talked to the people here and they had a buddy that was coming today that has allegedly some Nintendo stuff. Uh, they mentioned the old Nintendo is what they called it, um, and an N64. So we'll see how it goes. Yesterday, all I was able to get here was this, and they're like, oh, you know, yeah, we've got a buddy with some games. So we'll see how this turns out. You're in a band called Hazer? Yeah. Why, yes we are. But how much do you want for your games? This guy didn't know what he wanted for his games. I asked him, hey, what do you want for all this? Uh, he had the NES stuff. He had the tote of N64 stuff. I didn't even really rummage through it. Uh, you can even see that in the video. But I knew there was a lot there. And uh, I said, you got a lot here. You could make quite a bit off of this. And he's like, you know, I just really want to get rid of it. So I said, what do you think about 80 for everything? And he's like, for sure, let's do it. We shook on it, we continued talking music, and the rest is history. Quick recap of this garage sale haul. Um, kind of worked out, uh, left my name and number, and uh, they said they had a friend coming over with games, and they did. So, um, got some third-party 64 controllers over there. Got this NES, Ben, um, and quite a few games, and I got all this for 80 bucks. So there's a transfer pack. OEM and 64 controller, 2NES controllers, a zapper, Mega Man 2, Wrath of the Black Manta, Manta, uh, Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt, Vegas, then we also got Mario 3, Turtles, and uh, Mario 2. On the N64 side, two uh, memory cards, Turok 3, Nightmare Creatures, Top Gear Rally, Tony Hawk, Turok 2, Ridge Racer 64, Wave Race 64. Hydro Thunder. It's an expensive game. Quake, South Park, Castlevania, Quake 2, and Doom 64. So, really good haul. Got all of it for 80 bucks. Let's go. Retro Rick here, and you are watching the 57th Best Game Hunting Channel, Gaming Off The Grid. It has been a while, guys, but we're back. We're game hunting. We're making that money. Welcome to our ninth game hunting video. This episode is filled with bangers. Yep. It has been a while, but you didn't think we quit hunting, did you? It's just been a busy summer. Now we're getting into the fall. Things are slowing down for us a little bit. We actually had a couple vendor tables, so you're going to see throughout this video a lot of sold locally things pop up, and really what that means is we sold it at a convention at a vendor table. We had one actually in our hometown, and then we had another one in St. Charles, Missouri, but uh, we've been grinding the whole time, and so what that means for you is that you haven't got a hunting video in a long time, but that means this video is going to be all killer no filler so i think it's a win-win for you all right guys we're here at the goodwill me and newland out game hunting naruto missing book 29 33 99 cents a piece i'm gonna take a whack at this we're seeing sales north of 150 for the complete set so i'll probably buy the others online complete it see what we can do we also got some video games sitting up front we'll loop you in on those here in a few all right, wrapping up this uh, pickup at Goodwill. Um, actually, uh, the dude in there cut us a deal. These games were marked like $5.99, $2.99, $3.99. Give us all the games for $2.49. We got 35 of these Naruto, Naruto, I don't even know how they'll say it, uh, graphic novels. Um, those were all 99 cents a piece. We were 35. He only charged us for 30. Uh, but here's the games we've got. NCAA 13, you guys know that's a dinger. Uh, these two or three here, probably in that 12-ish dollar range, and this game goes for about 20. All games are complete. Moving on to the next.
It is a Saturday freaking morning. It's time to grind. Saturdays are huge, and we have just came off of a big week, huge weekend preceding this week. We're finding consoles everywhere, dirt cheap. I'm just excited. A little bit of rain in the forecast. Uh, it's going to be kind of spotty all day, so I hope that doesn't, uh, you know, drive down the sales. But if it does, we'll go on a thrift store run, um, hit a couple consignment shops and those type of things. We're not, we're not going home empty-handed today. Um, 7.42 right now. I'd like to put a pin in this thing by 10. 10.30, if I can. If uh, I haven't found anything the longest, I'll push it till noon. But I, I just like doing a couple hours. Getting what I can and getting out and getting stuff cleaned and getting her listed. Oh, yeah. Let's rock and roll. PS1 and three games with controller. We got a Wii, no cables, looks pretty dirty. Don't know if it works. Got a Wii U, pretty dirty. Don't know if it works. Got an N64 with an expansion pack, no controller, no cords. The expansion pack we can sell for probably 40, um, but this whole bag we got for 50 bucks. It's really gonna be a tale of how does this stuff work? Like this Wii chart, uh, tablet charging cable look at this we're gonna have to replace that for sure um so there's some work to do here but i, I definitely know we will at least double our money on this Whatever do you better find by asking you all these games here two bucks a piece on the games still trying to work out a deal on the wii u my brother's over here with a bunch of ps4 games all right got out of there with a ton of stuff getting some glare here uh, Mario Tennis, Wii U, Mario Kart, you guys can see the game. Shut Your Mouth's a banger. Uh, punch Out's a banger. Um, some pretty good stuff here. These three are empty cases, uh, but I'm wondering if one of those games is in here. They couldn't find the tablet or the cords on the Wii U, but we found that white Wii U earlier. Um, so I don't know. I did leave my name and number. They'll call me if they find the stuff on this. About 50 bucks right here. And my brother got four PS4 games in the process that he's planning on playing. So a uh, pretty good haul. We are killing it this morning. All right, just got home here with all this stuff. I'm gonna check consoles for discs. I usually don't clean anything before I make sure it powers on and all that. I don't wanna waste the time, but I always like doing the old disc check. Um, it just kinda always happens to be that there's a disc inside in these when you find them. Bang! Guys, I don't know if you remember, but uh, we found an empty case. I think it was the player select or player's choice case. It's looking like it's in fairly good shape. It probably needs a resurfacing. You can see some swirling there. But uh, that's a pretty good find for the first one. Now onto the Wii U. Looks like no disc. So I'm gonna grab something I don't care about to test in here just because I don't want a disc to get stuck in there. Screen for the tablet is powering on. Um, so we're gonna give this a whirl here and see what, what happens. All right, so it takes the game. Uh, I'm testing Just Dance 2016, but I think our issue here is, is we don't have a working um, touch screen. Um, controls seem to work okay on this, but the touch screen is out. And I don't know a whole lot about replacing those. Um, I'll probably just sell this for parts, but it appears the console's working. I will hook up our tablet and sync it and make sure the console plays games and stuff after I get it cleaned up. You guys can see it's pretty gnarly. So we got a little work to do on this one. Here is a recap of everything from this garage sale morning. Got this sweet Goosebumps hat and this Crown Royal hat. I got both those listed. I think I've got them like in the $14.99 range. We got this stuff tested. The N64 and the PS1 work great. I just bundled these two games with it. We'll see how we do. Um, the 64 didn't have a power or uh, AV cables and a controller. I had this third party one laying around and these. I'll probably take a little bit of a hit because of that. Uh, I did pop out the expansion pack and picked up a jumper pack. So got the Wii tested, works great. I'm selling it console only because I just don't have a lot of extra stuff at the moment as far as uh, connections and stuff like that. Got the Wiimote listed by itself. Games. 
These are the ones I listed anyway. There's a couple more that I didn't throw up. Um, Super Paper Mario, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Super Mario Sluggers, Skyward Sword, Smackdown Shut Your Mouth, Dragon Ball Z, Road Rage, New Super Mario Brothers U, Mario Tennis on the Wii U, Mario Kart Wii, NBA Jam. It's crazy finding NES games in the wild. Turtles 2, the arcade game. Super Mario Brothers. Punch out complete. This does not work. So this is listed as parts or repair only. I've already got a bid for like 21 on it. I should be able to get more. Um, but the console works. So the console's listed. The expansion pack from the N64 is listed. Oh honky tonk, badonky donk. Is listed. And then this other Wii U, which is over here. I have not listed yet. Uh, reason being, the guy I bought it from, I left my name and number. He is looking for the tablet, the hookups, and any other games they have. And he said he'll just throw them in if he can track them down. He knows they're at the house somewhere. So I'm going to give it like a week, see if he calls me. Otherwise, I'll list this one console only as well, as it is tested and in working order. Pretty awesome haul for 100 bucks. That last pickup was crazy. 100 bucks into almost $700. Are you kidding me? Guys, we get comments all the time saying, where do you find consoles out in the wild? You're finding an Xbox for this mount? You're finding an SNES Classic? No way you're finding that stuff. Guys, we are. It's all about being persistent. That stuff is out there. In this episode, we have so many consoles. Get ready. This next section of the video is going to be console after console after console. Guys, it's out there find it all right guys people say you never find the stuff we talk about in episodes in the wild here's an original xbox looks like two controllers 37.99 looks like they're going for like 90 to 100 on ebay so i think that's a good purchase i'm on the fence though about these games san andreas forza wrestlemania 21 i'll grab that one sells for quite a bit but i want to I'm gonna look at the price because I might use these as bundlers, but I've been looking for WrestleMania 21 for a while. Never played it. I didn't up selling it, but I'm gonna pick that up for sure. It's only Wednesday, and the week of finding game consoles on the DL is on fire. We got the original Xbox, 37 bucks. I picked up some of these games to bundle. They were $5.99 a piece. Tony Hawk Underground, it's like a $12 game. Tony Hawk Underground 1 and 2, I should say. Spider Man 2. Those will be good bundlers. Plus, I've got some sports games I can throw in there. We spent $59.88, I think, and get about $125 out of this. Bag has two controllers, the hookups. Let's see how it goes, but guys, finding consoles like crazy. All right, just leaving the pawn shop here. Spent uh, $69.99 on a PS3, 320 gig, and five bucks on Minecraft for the PS3. So there's the Minecraft, PS3, 320 gig, the original slim model. Um, those are going pretty well right now. We'll see. I might, I'm going to a convention soon, so I might save it to sell there, but I'm guessing I'll get 130 out of that bad boy. All right, guys, pretty good hit today at the pawn shop. Uh, 74 89. We got a Wii CIB. This isn't a backwards compatible with the GameCube, though. Uh, I always go with uh, the direction of that logo. I've said that in a few other videos. Got a slim PS2. And Marvel vs. Capcom, isn't it? This looks like it's going for about 18. Their PS4 games are 10. So it's a good spot for PS4 games. Not always the best for flipping. But on the console side, this was 30. Uh, we'll probably get 70-ish, maybe a little more out of that. And then the CIB Wii. The Wii market has tanked a little bit, but it was 30 bucks. I think I can get at least 60 or 70 out of it. I've got a bin of random, not very valuable games. I'll bundle with it. But uh, still to find CIB in the wild on a slim PS2. 30 bucks a crack. That is not too bad. Let's go. So in these type of videos, you have to take my predictions with a grain of salt because I get a little excited. I get a little horny, yeah. But I mean, I end up making out okay, typically in these situations, but I usually shoot a little long. All right guys, so we got this Wii here. Uh, looks like it has a Wiimote, two Wiimotes. Uh, the Nunchuck, 
system system appears to have the doors on it. it looks like the manual is in the bottom it appears to have all the hookups the fun parts always getting these home and seeing if there's a game inside not much on the game front but i'm gonna pick these up because they're sealed sealed games um, this we play is not worth much we play motion is this one is it the fact that it's sealed you get like 20 to 25 bucks out of that and this game is sealed as well not worth as much but uh it goes for like 10 to 12. Games, I believe, are $3.99 here. Sometimes they're going up $1.99. So, we got $14.99 on the Wii. Should get out of here for roughly $20. Bucks and be able to turn that into close to $100, I think. So, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. Wii Hall. Got out of there for $22.97. Two sealed Wii games. Wii Fitness Coach. Piece of shit game. Wii Play. Doesn't go for very much unless it's sealed. Probably get $22 to $25 out of that. Console was $14.99. It's funny because uh, Robert and I were going back and forth today about doing an episode of the games, DVDs, and consoles we find the most in the wild. And by far and away, the Wii was the leading console. And people tell us all the time, oh yeah, you can't find consoles that cheap. I tell you what, twenty-two ninety-seven major score. All right, guys, back here in the game room. And just to prove the point that like 75% of the time there's a disc in the console when you get a Wii in the wild, I'm gonna do this. Come on, come on little baby. <laughs> but don't get too excited. Zumba, woo! Oh, I'm so excited I got this Wii! Here's a little tip out there for you game hunters and you flippers out there. Look for sealed items, sealed video games, sealed movies, sealed VHS tapes. Guys, if you find sealed stuff, even if it's common, like Wii Fit Trainer or whatever that garbage is, it just takes that game an extra mile and you can make easy money on sealed stuff. In fact, I just opened. I wasn't going to do it, but the rest of the neighbors can attack me into it. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. So there's not much footage from that garage sale where Wes found that SNES Mini and that Wii U. We kind of got our money back from that Super Nintendo Mini. And Wes was like trying to sell this Wii U and I was like, dude, the Wii U is like one of my favorite consoles and look at this box variant. Why would you sell it? So um, I convinced him to keep it and now it's in the game room. All right, leaving the pawn shop, got out of there. Found an N64 controller, needs cleaned up, but tight stick, 10 bucks, we'll probably get 25 out of that at least. Got a PS2, fat, 30 bucks, need to test and everything. Probably get 85, 90 out of that. We've got a black GameCube for 30 bucks as well. Um, so, I think we'll turn, what did I spend on that? 74 87 I think I'll turn that into about 200 Oh, um, so let's go. All right, guys, the car's stacking up today. Who says you can't find retro games out in the wild? Oh, hell yeah. Got uh, the, the Super Nintendo 2 controllers and the hookups for 54 And I got Donkey Kong Country for two at the pawn shop. Gangnam Style. It, it could just be my age, but I've never really understood Funko Pops. I've never liked how they look, but in this case, I just gotta go. Huh, uh, Gangnam Style. Open Gangnam Style. We don't talk a lot about handhelds on our channel, but we'll get there eventually. I know the comments are going crazy, guys. Talk about handhelds. Talk about handhelds. We have a couple videos. Go check them out if you haven't. But. Get ready for these handheld pickups. We find some DS's, we find some Pokemon games that flip for a crazy amount of money. It's so crazy. Pokemon Diamond is here again. Gonna pick that up. Holy cow. I gotta make sure it's not a repro, but it looks pretty legit. Guys, Pokemon Diamond. 
321. I got a little ahead of myself in there. It was Pokemon Platinum I found last time, which is worth a lot more. It's still about a $30 card though. The hot streak continues. Pokemon Ultra Moon, loose, but for 321. This will go for 25 to 29 all day long. Let's go. All right guys, leaving the pawn shop. I spent a little bit of money today. Uh, 75 bucks for this 3DS, but it's in pretty good shape. A few scuffs on the front, but the screens are immaculate. We've got a charger with it. These are going for uh, quite a bit. I think I'll probably get 130 out of this. Uh, or I might keep it, because that's Gat G Purple. We'll see, but nonetheless, decent find today. So this Purple DS was kind of a big deal. You know, it didn't turn out to be a huge flip by any means, but we kept the Purple DS because it's Gat G Purple. My original black DS, been riding dirty with it for a long time, but I would rather have the purple DS. And uh, so we flipped my original DS so we could keep this purple DS because it's got G colors. Did you guys think we were done with video game consoles? That's just the tip of the iceberg. We have so many more consoles. Guys, I told you earlier, we find them all the time. Get ready for some more video game consoles. Keep finding consoles. We got here. Nintendo Wii, 1999. Manual. Loaded. Looks like two Wiimotes. Is there any games in there? Looks like Wii Sports, Sports is in there, brother. Fuck yeah. All right, guys, in here at the thrift. This is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Please be in here. Okay. This looks okay, needs resurfaced. Power tennis. Let's go. Definitely getting those three. Three nine nine a piece. And we got a weed down here. Let's go. This GameCube games pick up, guys. I don't know if you know that good old fashioned, I just found something crazy feeling. And after all these years of game hunting, this one really did it. And there was a couple of them in this video, but for whatever reason, when I seen those Mario sports games, Mario Strikers in particular, my heart, I don't know why, it just wop, 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 and I'm just, oh, please be, first off, discs be in the case. Please be CIB. This is insane. And then you don't know, you just kind of hone in on that. Maybe there's other stuff, but man, this pickup was crazy. And it was awesome, like at these conventions, these games sold like instantly. People are so into the GameCube. So for these to be sitting there, they had to have just gotten put out. I'll just never forget walking up there and being like, oh shit. Right in here and stuff, found the Mod Squad. I'm gonna double check the DVDs, but everything's looking good so far. Um, 12.99, looks like it's going for like 30 to 40. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Never heard of this show. All right, guys, killer find at the thrift, 58.25. We got the Wii, looks like everything is there. The Wii was 29.99. We got these three bags of GameCube games, 3.99 a piece, Mario Power Tennis, Superstar Baseball, and Strikers, which is a banger, one of our favorite games. And then the Mob Squad Complete Series, that was 12.99, looks like it goes for about 30. So, uh, yep, killed it today. Guys, we've been on a bit of a freaking heater. We're looking at 6419 today. And I got so this Dragon Ball Z Connect game goes for a little bit. I think we're probably getting 14 out of that. It's all CIB. Lost Odyssey. This goes for quite a bit. It's a four-disc game. It's all discs are really clean and it's complete. And then we got an SNES classic with two controllers and the hookups. It's 50 bucks, but I think I'll get 70 to 90 out of that bad boy. So not too bad of a turn here. Let's go on to the next. Right, getting out of there with an N64 and an expansion pack. It's also got the original, uh, uh, well, it's not an expansion pack, just the control pack or whatever. $44.99, $10 for a way out. I wanna play this game, but I might just get it digitally because this looks like it's going for like $34.99 used. Uh, so, I probably got $150 in the N64. 34 out of that. So we'll turn this 58 into 
Oh, close to 200 bucks, probably 175. shop today we spent 35 31 we got a guitar hero 3 ps3 guitar with the dongle and guitar hero world tour i think this set i'll be able to get about 100 out of we got shrek forever after this goes for like 15 battle royale it's about a 10 dollars game 10 dollars game this is awesome a uh, little big planet carding sealed this looks like it goes for about 30 brand new and then we got this simpsons game which is kind of a banger. I think it goes for like 25 or 30. So uh, we're gonna do really freaking well here. Probably close to 200 bucks out of that 35. Well, let's go. Here we go again, you know, looking at the footage. I'm getting horny. This guitar didn't work. The PS3 guitar didn't work. It still turned out being an okay pickup, but the guitar didn't work. So I'm like hanging onto this pickup for a little bit. Like I find PS3 guitars all the time. I'll be just fine. A couple weeks later, at a garage sale, two PS3 guitars, no dongles. What? I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect this whole story. Three PS3 guitars deep, none of the guitars worked, but the dongle worked. Still turned out to be a great pickup, but it could have been so much better. Like if people see dongle, guitar, game, I can just get all this in one fell swoop, it works out better. Man, I, I just gotta be careful. These future hunting videos of just like, blowing my load, <laughs> you know? Like as, uh, I found all this stuff, I'm gonna make this. Yeah. Hey guys, here at Salvation Army. It's been a little while since we found a good combo DVD VCR player. Comps on this one look like they are going for over a hundred. Fun eye, he's a fun eye. But this looks like the exact same framework of the Magnavox, so I wonder if it's affiliated with them somehow. But nonetheless, we're gonna snag this for $6.99. Let's go. It wouldn't be a Got G game hunting video without a little VCR DVD combo action. Sadly, there's only one in this video, but it's a Funai DVD VCR combo. Now you're like, who the hell is Funai? Well, they've been in bed with Magnavox. So, Magnavox has awesome VCR DVD combos. It's basically the same thing. So if you find a Funai out there, it's not Funaki, but if you find a Funai out there, pick it up, flip it, easy money. All right guys, before I get copyrighted here for this music, I'm kind of freaking out. I wish this tongue wasn't all messed up. But these Rodman shoes, they can go for like two to four hundred bucks. These aren't the best shape, but we're gonna clean them up the best we can and see how we do. I gotta get the other one from up front, but this could make the make the freaking month. If you're game hunting in 2021 and all you're looking for is video games, it's gonna be a losing battle. Sometimes you have to pivot, sometimes you have to look for other things you can flip to turn into video games. Man, I walked into this starvation army. I saw these Dennis Rodman Converse shoes. And it's like, I know maybe folks that watch are like, what do you, how do you know that? What are you looking for? I just know nostalgia. I know the things that move me. I seen these shoes and I was like, those have to be something. Now, had they been my size? I would have kept them. They, these aren't getting flipped. No way. I'm keeping these Rodman shoes if they're my size, but they were like one whole size too small. One of the best flips. I know this video is kind of getting long, 
but easy money is out there with DVDs. Guys, get ready for some DVD hype. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be montage -y. but there's so much money out there with DVDs. Enjoy it. Salvation Army spent seven bucks on the Sonic the Hedgehog tin lunchbox. I could not find any comps on this. No vintage plastic ones are going for like 40. There's no year on it. I, so I don't know if this is old, new stock. I, I don't know. All right, guys, we're the Chipmunks. Collectible action figures, CIB. There's $5.99 on it. Here's the comps on eBay. Looking pretty good. One for one twenty nine sold. Um, looks like one for forty nine sold. Looks like it's all over the board, but I think we're gonna do okay on this regardless. Five ninety nine. Uh, you guys seen the comps? It's pretty widespread. I highly doubt we get one fifty out of this thing, but even if we can get north of fifty, it's a hell of a pull. Army here, a lot of good DVD sets. Looks like all these go for north of 20. So we're gonna pick them all up, see how we do. Pretty big hit here. We got all these DVD box sets, Salvation Army. They rang up for $1.99. So I've got $13.93 in it. I think we at least get $140 out of those. We'll see how it goes. Have to list them tonight. that was a lot of fun it was kind of a long one our ninth hunting video is in the bag it's been a while so we had a lot of freaking stuff to show and there was a lot of stuff we didn't show we have so much footage we didn't show you guys yeah so we're gonna start working on number 10 after you see this yeah like immediately we yeah. have so much footage yeah it's been uh been a few months uh, since we did a hunting video just had a lot going on but uh we've still been finding tons of stuff out in the wild so let's uh let's do the math for this episode and then talk about then this talk beer about the beer all right so in this video, we spent $1,312.27 freaking cents. So that's quite a bit of a yeah, spend. Yeah, that's a lot of money. But here's how much we made in sales. $3,962.66. That's almost four grand, guys. Yeah. That's insane. But it's not all going into our pocket. We've yeah. got to account for a lot of things. There is. So uh, we grossed out of that uh, $2,650.39. And uh, then we take like a 15% kicker off for eBay fees and et cetera. And that, that equated to almost 400 bucks. So that brings Damn. our net down to 2252.83. Then there's another expense we're gonna roll out of there because I didn't say anything. I kind of mentioned it in the video, but we didn't take it off of the paid sold deal. We bought two jumper packs for the N64 yes. to replace expansion packs because expansion packs sell all day long for 40 bucks. And there's a local game store that sells OEM N64 jumper packs for $6.99. So we'll roll a $13.98 out of this for a total profit in this video of $2,238.85 in our pocket. 
And that is how we can afford to pay for all this, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So uh, it can be done. The deals are out there. Widen your scope. Um, kind of a similar uh, narrative in some of our other hunting videos. It is a grind. Um, you're not going to go out. Uh, you know, I hear all the time people say, my thrift stores aren't like that. They may not be, but I know they aren't if you're only going once a week because ours typically aren't like that either. Um, it's just a matter of when we're in there. Yeah. Um, you know, I think of those, those Dennis Rodman shoes. I never see name brand basketball shoes in the thrift store. You know, it's very rare and I go damn near daily. So it is a grind, but if you are a cheapskate like us, it's a good way to fund your collecting habits. It's so crazy, all the stuff that we find. Like, I'm just still in shock about that spy, spy or Sai, however you say his name, the Gangnam Style guy, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Funko Pop. Yeah. Oh my God, and almost you know, 40 bucks. You know, some of those we kind of take a bath on. If you look up that Funko Pop, it's worth more. I think we sold it for 48 in the video, but uh, my mentality is always to make a quick nickel rather than a slow dime. I'm all about turning inventory. Um, so most stuff at our store, we list under market because yeah. we just want to move it. Um, if I have it for more than two weeks, I'm getting antsy. Um, and I know some people that do it full time, they have a different mindset towards it, um, but I just want to turn inventory. Um, so probably missed out on 30, 40 bucks maybe in that one, but. Uh, uh, yeah, I always look at margin. Turn in what was it, two ninety nine, three ninety nine, yeah, and forty eight bucks. That's insane margin for a freaking yeah. plastic to toy that's so stupid. Yeah, I yeah. hate Funko Pops. But you know what I don't hate is craft beer. Yeah, and it depends on the beer. Yeah, it depends on the beer yeah. because this one is iffy. This is a Forage Nut Brown Ale by Exile. Exile is a local brewery. We like shouting out local breweries, and we've been to Exile plenty of times. Yes, yes. Love the brewery. Uh, they've got a lot of good stuff. It's probably worth noting and only fair to say that uh, both of us tend to not be fans of brown ales it has to be like a amazing brown ale for it to yes. really move the needle for us for me i can't speak for you this does not do that this is a middle of the road fall beer at best yeah it could be because i don't like brown ale. i just it's just <sighs> i think i'm pretty good at, at judging a beer within its style even if it's not my favorite style and there's just not much going on here you get a good nuttiness kind of and then that's it i don't know it's hard for me to judge a beer when i'm not really enjoying it because i don't like the style you know what i mean like if you're a fan of brown ales you would probably enjoy this yeah it's, um, it's, it's not horrible it's an easy drinker but for me i'm like ah I just, Can I just have an IPA, please? You know, like I think of like the fire trucker nut brown ale. That was pretty That's good. baller. Yeah. And I'm not a big fan of brown ales. This is just, okay. I think if you're a fan of, of fall beers, and um, I, mean, I would put this like, it wouldn't surprise me to have a beer almost exactly like this in like the Sam Adams fall sampler pack. Oh yeah, I could see that, yeah. It's very thin on the mouth. Doesn't have a, uh, a lingering finish. Um, I think it comes in at like 4%, 4.5%, something like that. So... It's okay. Um, of the beers we've had in the last six months to a year, this is definitely kind of yeah, bottom of the barrel. We've had a lot of good beers. Um, you know, but it is what it is. Uh, again, not taking a shot at Exile because they do amazing things. And we've yes. said plenty of great things about them on the channel. But this one's just, eh, it's, it's middle of the road. Middle of the road. But I will say, if you're in the Des Moines area, check out Exile. Yeah. They have fantastic food. Too, yeah. So Their restaurant brewery is off the chain for sure. But uh, anyways, guys, we hope you enjoyed this knife gaming off the grid hunting video. Hopefully you can take some of the things you've seen in this video and apply it to your hunting endeavors. That is the whole reason we do this thing. It's not about us saying, oh my God, look at what we found. It's kind of about helping the community do the yes, same thing. Keep your eyes open for this. And nothing's better than getting a comment that, from somebody that's like, hey, you know what? I found this DVD because of your video and I flipped it and I bought some games with it. That that's is awesome that is why we do this thing um but we always appreciate you guys tuning in and subscribing to the channel we will see you next time right here on gaming off the grid and best of luck out there game hunting in the wild so we don't focus a lot on handhelds on the channel i know people in the comments are like guys talk about handhelds we're getting there we're getting there so be careful but be careful <laughs> be careful what you wish for yeah be careful what you wish for because big bang so we don't talk <laughs> so we don't talk a lot about handhelds on the channel because we d we don't <laughs> <laughs> you got a good start buddy we tracking rolling <clears throat> all right like we fitness coach or whatever that is sealed it just goes for that, that extra fuck that was good you can just take it that extra mile take that extra mile yeah the green mile <laughs>
This is probably just me showing my age, but I, I don't understand Funko Pops. Never have. I hate how they look. But in this case, I just gotta go uh, Gangnam style. I think that's good. <laughs> we'll do one more. We had a ton of them and you were like, oh, they probably found these and that's it. That was only the tip of the iceberg. Cyborg. <laughs> oh, fuck. Anyways, guys, we hope you enjoyed this knife. Fuck. <laughs> of $2,000, 200. I messed it up. Fuck.